Hi everybody, this is Jerry from sgdvtutorials.com and I'm back with the second part of the Macro Generator Pro three-part tutorials. As I mentioned in segment one, I divided the second tutorial into four sections. In this, the third section, we will be concentrating on EDIUS settings. I'll show you how to create macros from keyboard shortcuts and we'll go over the EDIUS settings backup and restore operation. And now on to section three, EDIUS settings. This section will range from making macros directly from shortcut keys to restoring all EDIUS settings data from a created backup. ID keys are what allows macro generator to work with EDIUS and the list gives us access to those keys. Using this list, you can select unassigned ID keys and assign them keyboard shortcuts. The example I'm going to use will create a macro from an unassigned EDIUS function. This function, which is only available with EDIUS 8 workgroup, will lower my preview resolution from 10-bit to full 8-bit. First, let's select the ID key. Under search name, type in full 8-bit. The preview quality full 8-bit option will appear. Notice the assigned tick box is unchecked. At the bottom of the panel, click the Find button. Macro Generator will go to the EDIUS User Keyboard Shortcut setting panel with the full 8-bit function selected. It will say No Assignment. Click Assign and EDIUS will open a keyboard for you to select a shortcut. You will be warned if the shortcut you choose has already been assigned. After getting the correct shortcut, press Apply and then OK. Both the keyboard shortcut and keyboard panels will close. On the Work panel, Click the Refresh ID Keys button to update the list. Close this list and right click in an open space on the main GUI. Choose Create New Macro with Wizard and when the selection panel opens, navigate to the left column. Double click the ID key entry and when the Select ID Key panel reopens, click the Preview Quality Full 8 bit option. Now click the Select button at the bottom of the panel. The Preview panel for the macro will open. Notice that the Select ID key does have the correct function listed. Click Save and then Apply and the macro will be complete. Go ahead and run the macro to change the preview resolution. Next is your effects list. This list will provide you with access and information about your transitions, filters, titles, keyers, and layouts that you have installed in EDIUS. You can use settings to select, deselect, or to create macros from the list. There is also a search function that allows fast access to specific effects and folders. Next is the Check EDIUS Macro Generator Keyboard Shortcuts Test. By clicking this, you can verify that your shortcut keys are all correct. Go ahead and run that. As an example, let's remove the shortcut key assignment for the speed change function. Run the test again. Two panels will open this time. One shows you which ID keys or shortcut keys are unassigned and the other alerts you to the fact that you are missing shortcuts. It also asks if you want to import the default keyboard shortcuts.
One word of warning here. If you have changed any of the default shortcut keys, these will be overwritten by importing the default keyboard shortcuts. If this is the case, your best option is to click No. Then on the ID key missing panel, click the Assign button to open the specific shortcut key that is unassigned. Make your assignment. Click Apply, and then OK. Go back to the Missing ID Key panel and click the Check Assigned button. A check will appear in the Assigned box, and by clicking Close, you will be notified that your shortcut keys are OK. The Load Macro Generator's Effect Preset function is to be used if you don't see any effects or they are not working properly. Run this to restore the correct operation of the macro generator's effects. Another way of doing this is to close Macro Generator Pro and restart it. And now we come to the backup and restore option. This is one of my favorite features of Macro Generator Pro. These are options for backup and restoration of all EDIUS settings data. The restore has to be performed on the same version of EDIUS as the saved backup. Simply stated, you can't run an EDIUS 6 backup on an EDIUS 8 install. If you have several third party plugins installed at the time of the backup, it is to your advantage to have those same third party plugins installed prior to running the restoration process. I can't stress this point enough. This is a data only backup. This will not back up your media asset files. The data backup includes all items from the settings header drop down, system settings, user settings, Project Settings, Effect Palette Settings, Export Settings, EDIUS Keyboard Settings, Layout of EDIUS and GUI Settings, and the Project Recent List. Before exporting, verify the destination path of your EDIUS backup. You can do this by going to Global Settings and looking at your path selections. Close EDIUS and leave Macro Generator running. Click the Backup EDIUS Data option. You will be reminded to close EDIUS. To proceed, click OK. Name your backup and click Apply. Your backup will be stored in your pre-designated location, which will be shown on the pop-up panel. Now that there is a backup, the easiest way to show this working is by deleting the main profile. With the main profile removed, close EDIUS and then run the Restore option. Navigate to the backup stored location and select the backup. My backup is the tutorial backup example. Click OK. You will once again be reminded to close EDIUS and click OK to proceed with the restoration. A confirmation pop up will let you know that the restoration was successful. As you can see in my project list panel, my profile has returned and is selected. If you've ever lost your settings, the backup and restore option will provide a buffer against losing your settings again. It will also give system builders a quick and easy method of applying all of the time consuming settings in one fell swoop.
As we close out section three, hopefully you'll come away with a better appreciation for keyboard shortcuts. But the big feature in this section is the backup and restore function. The fourth and final section will cover workspace settings through the storyboard function. I'll also show a quick and easy way to get Edius chapter markers and Encore. For more tutorials or information as they become available, you can go to www.macrogenerator.net or the Macro Generator YouTube channel at this address on your screen. Thanks for watching and make sure to check the links for new material.